Darksiders. Let's see whether this game is adventure worthy or not. We're going to jump in right now. Yes, override the save. Difficulty, I'm not going to go apocalyptic because I'm not crazy. Uh, and I've never played this before. I, I usually assume that the highest difficulty is for people that have played it before. So we'll go normal. Again, I'm playing this with mouse and keyboard. I do think that it's one of those games that could potentially benefit from a controller. But we're going to give mouse and keyboard a try if it feels terrible. Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the Council and its laws, for none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the Council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named, the Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between Heaven and Hell. The Great Pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time, when man's kingdom stood ready for the End War, a battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the Three Kingdoms. That's a big lore dump. I'm glad they at least explained it. What are we even seeing here? Wait, what? A helicopter? What? Okay, I, I clearly had no idea what this game was going to be about. This is now. Like, this is modern times. Huh. Meteor clusters hit the earth. Oh shit! Evidently! Are these the forces of heaven or hell? I'm assuming hell! Oh! Oh yes, the weak humans. Weak yet cunning. Oh god! Oh, are they fighting? No, they're not. Oh, yes, they are! Scary movie music. Oh, this is probably us arriving. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. That's the guy on the box art. Ooh. Wait, so if I'm not mistaken, we play as one of the four horsemen then? So are we supposed to bring balance to the universe or whatever? Damn, okay. Press left mouse to attack. Oh shit. Can I attack you? Oh my god, yes. Woo! Okay. I mean, this is pretty cool. 
So the like the combo is just a click 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 bunch of times combo and then it does the big attack at the end so it like it strings it together. It's a basic like five or whatever hit combo. How do I dodge? V to activate chaos form. Oh my god! Yes man! Same combos though? Press E to perform a spectacular finishing move. Oh, I think I missed my chance. Oh, when I see that. Okay, okay, got it. Okay, I did see the item. Cool. Look, I'm gonna be honest, I did not think that we would see actual human beings and stuff here. I thought this game setting was completely different to that. I had no idea. I, I guess that's good. I guess it's good. I'm coming into this completely blind. Cool, man. How do I go faster? Oh, these are heavy attacks. Whoa, dude. What's the size of that guy? Uh, is that to block me from going back? And is that a goodie or a baddie? Start attacking his toes. So I'm trying to decide whether these are good guys or bad guys. Are they attacking me? Oh, these are bad guys. Okay, so we're definitely smack dab in the middle of this conflict. We are not, uh... Yeah, we are not with heaven or hell, because these guys are definitely with heaven. Hey, the destructible terrain and stuff's pretty cool. Like, everything seems to be destructible. If we fight this right now, then... Well... I'm thinking it's gonna make me feel like it's a lot more like God of War. But I don't think we are. It looks like it's sort of passive. What is happening? Oh my god, why does that voice sound so familiar? Illid Illidan? Illidan. Arthas. Illidan or Arthas. Hey, Sticky Job Squid, what's up, man? Can we attack this bus? Oh! Okay, you can just break everything. Dude, if that's Illidan. That, that adds a lot of extra points to the game. I'm just saying that we get to listen to Illidan's voice. So we end in humanity today? Well, we are beginning the end, apparently. I just wanted to have a look at this for like an hour or a bit, maybe. We're gonna play the, I guess, the introduction sequence to this game. Let me see how it goes. Finishing move. Nice. So what does the finishing move do other than waste my time? Okay. I love that you can just perform the attacks up in the air as well. It's sort of like uh, Devil May Cry, I guess it feels out like that. With the combat being slightly more arcadey than something like a Souls-like would be. Yeah. Oh, I see. It tracks your kill streaks and stuff as well. It is Liam O'Brien, dude. Is it O'Brien or O'Brien? Yeah, he, we, we, we most recently we saw him in Horizon Zero Dawn, which was pretty sick. I, it's so cool that I was able to tell that with just one half voice line. He just said, what is happening? And I could tell. That just goes to show how memorable the man's voice is. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Wait, so this must be... I think this was like 2000 and... The remaster was 2016? I can't remember when this actually came out initially. But, um... It's, it's like, it's old, but it's not that old. Okay, let's see. Is there a map? I'm, I'm trying to decide what this is. It's like a cinematic camera when I press shift. But I think it locks on. I think it's I think it's to lock on. Yeah, our objective is the other way. I just want to make sure I know what's going on here. Oh, I actually I sort of know what critical role is, uh, but I haven't actually watched it myself. It's a D and D show with a bunch of voice actors, including him and people like Matthew Mercer. I love Matthew Mercer, man. Like, not just as a voice, but as a personality. Big fan of Matthew Mercer. The, uh... 
The most recent D&D stuff that I've watched was uh, It Me JP's roleplay stuff. Also pretty cool. I don't know if you've seen that before, but it's pretty cool. Oh shit, look at that big guy. Oh my god. Dude. It's like Diablo and Tyrael, but they are a dime a dozen. <laughs> Jump onto horizontal pipes and wires to grab and traverse them. Oh my god, is that how slow I'm gonna go across here? That's awesome. Thanks, Sticky Dosquid. I might check it out. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think that a lot of those voice actors and stuff, they have such cool personalities and they, they always have such interesting things to say that, well, it ends up being worth watching. Oh, oh wait. Okay, up we go. So, like, performance-wise, how do I... Oh, I can attack from here. Okay. Uh, like, performance-wise, the, the game's... It's fine. It's, it's performing, obviously, quite nicely. The camera has a bit of a lag to it, but I think that that's just sort of an old game thing, I want to say. But it's, it's very, it's very subtle. It's like not a big thing. I, I wanna, I wanna say like, if I had to guess, probably because I'm running at 144 hertz. Yeah, I thought it was gonna zip line as well, man. It was a little disappointing. Uh, but overall, like the performance stuff's awesome, and to be honest, the game actually looks pretty damn decent for a mega old game. Now the second game that we're gonna look at, which is Steep, uh, that definitely isn't as old as this. It's quite a bit newer. I think it looks pretty good. Damn. So. I'm seeing... You can perform short range dash. Oh, cool. I'm seeing a, like, a, a general theme where... Where the areas and stuff are concerned. What? Chair. Oh, shit. We WWE now. So they seem to put you in a new area. And then... They lock the area. And you have to kill the stuff that's in it before you can proceed. And it's like a very common thing. A lot of games do it. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, it, it seems to feel okay. Let's do it. Oh yeah, more, more. Do I not? Oh, it's a hit multiplier on the left there. But do I not want to finish the, the mobs with a finishing move? Because it seems to cancel the multiplier. My combo thing. Surely I can't take full damage, right? So, in terms of like objectives and stuff, not much has been said. We don't really know where we're going, what we're doing. Uh, we we do get the impression that we oh this might be a zip line. There we go. That we are here to try and well balance things out. But I'm not sure if our like our idea is to help humanity or oh oh shit. To help humanity, or if our if our plan is to um, to just keep balance, because obviously balance is uh, different. Can I take the bus? I, they've got me curious. Now. No, I can't. Bus is a little bit too much. Oh, shit, that's cool, man. Okay, the combat feels really good. Like it's responsive. It's it's satisfying. Wow. I shared his wings clean off. Alright, I see a skull on my map. I'm, I'm assuming that's the boss. Here we go. Yeah, man, this is... Uh, well, it's not looking good for the high heavens here. We are... <laughs> we are decimating their ranks. But then again, well, the burning hells aren't doing so great either. Who's this guy? Imperious. Look, I wouldn't be surprised if the guy was called Imperious. Oh. Shit. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's the guy. Yes, he looks more like a boss. That other guy was a decoy. Okay, buddy. Me and you? Oh, me, you, you and him first? God, why does everyone look like a boss to me right now? So which is the boss? Is that guy the boss? Is the angel guy the boss? Mm, oh yeah. Okay, that's not 
dramatic. Hey, Ash, what up? Oh, speaking of dramatic. Impossible. Abaddon. What is Abaddon. this? Where are my brothers? This cannot be. The final seal. You can see what's up, man. Dude, he's gnawing on your arm. Do something. My lord. Who's she? How did this happen? What is it exactly that's happening? Oh, let's just see what happens, okay? Am I one of them? The seventh seal was not broken! Oh shit. Move! Oh no. That was one of the four. What horsemen. in heaven's name have you done? I Me? Answer the call. Oh no, dude, it's me. Okay, man, let's take Skeletor here on. That's a big boss. Holy crap, man! Left shift to focus on a single enemy. Oh, oh it, is, it is a lock on. Okay, that makes it much harder. I don't know why they'd ask me. E to use it as a weapon. Little master throw. Shit, that worked. No! The no more pause! Ah, oh, shit! Oh, 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 shit. Get to him. There's no way. I basically just tickled his damn snoot there, okay? Oh no. Well, that's something. That did damage. Do I go? For oh shit, no. My health is not looking good. Oh my god. Yes! Take this! Yes! Take this! Ash, you are assuming correctly I've never played Darksiders. I've never touched Darksiders before. This is the very first time. I had no idea that the humans were even involved. We're on Earth or something. I didn't know that would happen. Like, it's all a shock to me. And you know what? I kind of like it. I honestly kind of like it. The controls feel cool. The characters and the boss... So far, at least, it's like some interesting stuff. I think I have to wait. Oh, I can jump and not take damage from the slam attacks? Ooh, okay. Thank you. That makes it much better. Give me that. Give me that car. Take this. What the shit? Where did I just throw that? Pick it up. Press the wrong button, I think. I need to get close. Finish and move. Oh, right in the eye. Oh, man. I just imagine what that would look like in like 2019 graphics. Pretty damn sick, I'm assuming. Did I just absorb some power from him, or what happened? <laughs> oh, I gotta get the other eye. Oh, my sword! The law has been broken. And so have you, horseman. <laughs> get the sword back, get the sword back. Wow, that ended badly. <sighs> Look, at least we survived the, the first boss fight. Clear. When the seventh seal is broken, four <laughs> horsemen shall ride forth to punish the wicked. Be they sons of men, lords of heaven, or the dregs of hell. All upon the earth will be judged, and the bad forged anew. You forget your post, horseman. You forget the law. 
Mm. No call was given, yet the destroyer marched, and there you were found, under his black banner, if the claims are true. To hell with your claims! The seals were broken! I was summoned! Then where are the other horsemen? Were they not summoned as well? The seven seals are hidden, as they have been since the pack was forged eons oh, ago. That's cool. All of them intact. There was no call. He raided the Dark Ones, broke a sacred covenant that has doomed mankind, and threatened the balance. Do you deny it? Are we the bad guys? When guy? I rode, heaven and hell were already at war. Abaddon was there. He knew something. Abaddon fell, fighting off the chaos you unleashed. I fought powerless against the demons, and still you accuse me. Your defeat proves nothing. Likely the Destroyer cast you aside when he was finished with you. You have defiled the law, Horseman. You will be punished. I serve only the Council. Only the Balance. As the Horsemen always have. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? What hope do you have against the Destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail. And the demons will have carried out your sentence. Very well. You will return to the Earth. But you will be watched. Come forth. Damn. Okay. For a moment there I thought bad ending. <laughs> but uh seems like that's not the case. Are we getting our sword back? I must say like the the Oh shit. The watcher is bound to you. It will ensure your loyalty. The facial movements and stuff. Pretty good. Funny, better than a lot of games. Nowadays. I will really get under your skin. That sounds like more camel. Enough! I swore and arm yourself. Oh, I am war, okay. I just need to change this to... There we go. Oh, charred council. B to toggle between run and walk. Why would I want to walk? Why would you want to RP walk in a game like this? I mean, okay, maybe to look cool for the last few steps here. Maybe because it does look cool. <clears throat> so the only thing you don't like right now is the flingy cutscenes. It's like everywhere, no too focus. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. What? Oh. I went the wrong way. No, I understand what you're saying about the cutscenes. Uh, I think that they obviously just thought it was more like, at the time, I guess, more arcadey and like more fitting to the way games were. You know, we've come a long way. It's, it's funny, like, because a lot of things nowadays that they're doing games just feel very natural, uh, but they weren't always like that. War's Legendary Blade also stripped of its former strength and powers. Wow, why? Really? Blade Geyser. Harnessing the power of Chaos Eater, this attack summons a field of deadly blades around war. Press I to open the inventory. Oh, cool. Select Wrath Power or Consumable Item. Map the selected item to an action slot. Press Caps. What? Caps Lock? Why the hell caps lock? Are you serious? What is this? Life essence? Let's put that on four. What is I, I don't I don't honestly know what this is, but okay. We'll see what happens. So Caps lock and one. Oh, oh, caps lock. Oh, I see. Okay, the it brings up. The dead I see, will be I see. your currency. Some enemies are more easily bought than killed. 
Hey, John Delaw. Hello, hello. Sorry, I just put us in the uh, dark side of category quickly. I mean, caps lock is is okay, but they want me to press caps lock and then two. Like caps lock and then one, caps lock and then two, caps lock and then four, and you have to hold it. It's kind of weird, you have because that means you have to take your fingers off W A S D. How you doing, Jundler? How's life? It's it's very strange, but whatever, man. I can I can work with it. I'm using the default controls for now. Souls. Three forms, currency, health, and wrath. Seek the demon Fulgrim. Few can afford his services, but perhaps you can strike a bargain. The council confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the destroyer's favor. Fulgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? Oh god, this guy again. So much drama with this damn watcher that I've got. You had a good New Year, John Glaude? That's awesome, man. I had a pretty pleasant time myself, and 2020 is looking good already. Yeah, it does. It does reek of console. It looks port. like our trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. Why does he keep doing this to me? Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. It does I say sound bark, like Mark Hamill. You bark, and if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? Good boy. <laughs> John Law, what kind of game is this? I mean, we're just jumping in for the first time now. I've only been playing for a few minutes. But it seems to be like a hack and slash uh, action RPG kind of thing. Obviously not top down. I suppose you could compare it to Devil May Cry. Someone watch by pressing and holding the, that button. The council ordered you to seek out Vulgrim. So start seeking. Okay, you can go away now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it feels like Devil May Cry and a bit like you know that, that kind of thing like a, I, I don't know I don't know what else to really compare it to right now because Devil May Cry feels like the closest it might not be the closest I mean I might change my mind if we go a little further oh crap space mid air to do a double jump Hoop. okay okay grab and move along most ledges the shit oh my god I do not like platforming in my uh, third-person action RPG games. Oh, okay. I can do it without grabbing on. Wait, so grab onto most ledges. Hoop, hoop. I think they mean I must jump all the way across. We'll see. We'll see in a mere moment. So yeah, in case you're just joining us, uh, on the wall. Oh, above, right, maybe above. Got it, got it, got it. I was gonna say, in case you're just joining us, we are we are trying Darksiders out. It's the War Mastered Edition, and we are also trying Steep out. Is this it? Ah, cool. whoa! Oh my God! How does he go faster on a damn ledge than running on the ground? That's insane! Oh, he looks very serious. I mean, I gotta say, the Illidan voice actor did a great job here. With a voice, I mean. Not with a face. Don't think he did the face. Here comes the welcome party. Evidently. War? 
Why don't you introduce yourself? Now we get to test this ability out. Caps lock. Oh, there we go. I can't press one. It's two. Why is it on two now? Okay, man. Well, this sword works nice. Is it the same sword I had before? I can't do two games. Okay, dude. Caps lock is actually just not making sense. To me. I might have to change it. Okay, we're getting souls from this. I put it on two? That's one, two, three, four. Okay, I'll put it on one. Well, I, I was a bit confused because they aren't... Look, they all say one. You see? I, it might be level one or whatever. They didn't say what the numbers are here. So I was a little bit confused. When I put it there, I thought that was one. There we go. We're good, we're good. Oh! Hey, buddy. Is that a bane? Okay, I was about to say. That's a baneling. Okay, this guy's actually gonna help me. That's good. Gauntlet glow. Close near interactive objects such as chest doors. Press E to activate them. Prison tab. I mean, at this point, I feel like tab would be easier, but is it? It's locked me on here for some reason. down now. I think we can go down now. Nope. Okay. Wait, what? I guess, I guess not. But we're going down. Oh, that's much better. Wait, is that where we came from? No, nope, that's where we're going. Awesome. So this is another baneling type dude. Let's see if we can make him explode. I think it said... How do you uppercut enemies with there? Press and hold. I, I don't know what that was now. Shit, dude. Woo! Caps lock and four. Okay, we heal. Okay, I must remember to dodge. Why is he standing there belly laughing at me? Hey man, you're getting your ass beat. You don't have time to belly laugh. Hey Rasmo. This looks cool. I'm glad. I, I think it looks pretty cool, yeah. How's it going, man? Oh, a chest. I want to try and figure out how to uppercut people. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my god, yes! I figured out the uppercut. That's cool. Oh, that was a heal. Oh, no. Maybe that fills up this. That didn't fill this up.
Dragon objects. Walk and drag certain freestanding objects found in the environment. Toggle R to start and stop shifting objects. Why is that it? Why is that not just e? Unless maybe it's a maybe it's a big mechanic, right? Like maybe it's something that we're gonna use quite often. The dodge is really cool, man. Okay. R. Hey, go well, sticky toss, good. Looks kind of like wow. I, I can, I can see what you're saying, yeah. I mean, like visually, it kind of looks like. Unfortunately, it looks a bit like classic wow. I think it's from the same era. Do you remember playing this before? Hey, man, what up? Uh, I, I have never played this, so this is new to me. But you know, I'm, I'm excited to actually be giving it a try now. Like, I didn't, I didn't even know that we were gonna play on Earth. I thought it would be in like again some weird heaven or hell city. Dude, you actually have an itch to play WoW again? Really, Wuwa? But for what reason? Like, you mean like regular retail or, or classic? I mean, they, I guess there's expansion hype coming up. Like, expansion is coming sometime. And we've seen some news about it and stuff, but like... Oh, man. You wanna play retail? Okay, okay, okay. What do you, what do you like feeling like? What, what class? Oh yeah, there's a patch coming. I've got it on my calendar. Yeah, it's like mid-January or something. There is a new patch. And that's that's the big one, right? Point it's a point three patch. Like there's a lot of new stuff coming with it. That's not ideal. Yeah, I mean I guess that would bring people back. There's quite a lot of dragging and climbing and jumping. I, I think that the puzzles are meant to be those kinds of puzzles, yeah. Like, the kind of puzzles you'd find in a game like this, I guess. You had a mage and druid. Run my level in alliance race DK. Yeah. DK. Interesting choice. Uh, Eileen was considering playing WoW again because Valpera comes with the next patch. But then she thought to herself, like... When... You resub into WoW because a new race comes out that literally doesn't really change the gameplay even in the slightest. You know, it's, it's just a new race, it's just a new skin for your character. When that's the reason to come back, then maybe it's not a good enough reason. But I mean, there is other stuff coming to the patch, right? There should be a whole lot of other stuff coming. Hey, Skizzy Red, what's up, man? I don't want to focus on this guy because... That was my bad. I have no I have no powers to use though. So. I think this guy's getting angry. Shit man, they like you just can't do the full combo. I'm trying and trying, but you can't do the full combo. It's like one attack or two attacks at most. We gotta play more careful now. I wanna get greedy, but it's, it's not happening. Oh, I'm getting greedy anyway. Ooh. Hey, Walrus, what's up, man? We're doing an adventure worthy. We're trying out uh, Darksiders, the War Master Edition. And then we're playing Steep after that. I'm actually, sadly, I'm actually pretty excited for Steep because I haven't played a sports game in, like, I don't know, it must be 15 years or longer. And, um, okay, let's go. Well, Steep looked kind of good. Yeah, neat. We're trying something different. Uh, these games are currently... No, shit! If you want to try to do better than me in them, which is probably not going to take very much, they're currently free on the Epic Game Store. It's actually one of the reasons I wanted to try them out tonight. Oh! Dude! Okay. The custom finisher is pretty sick. Ash, thank you so much for 25 months, man. I really appreciate it. I do. I do. Thank you, thank you. It's a lot of months. It really is. 
Yeah, it's because he read all's well with me, man. It's been a pretty great start of the year. So that's just, he's just dead and he's gone. Like, what now? <laughs> it's been a pretty great start of the year and I don't know, I'm excited to be streaming. So, I don't think the game itself is 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 much like like I wouldn't say it's it's anything really like well no okay there are some similarities I wouldn't say it's a Souls like it's more like a, a extreme arcade hack and slash game sort of again I'll compare it to Devil May Cry because again I haven't played many of these but uh, by by these I mean these types of games but that's what it looks most like to me I mean I know some people compared it to Zelda and and the way the exploration the puzzles stuff worked to Zelda but it's not really the, the same type of thing exactly. I think it's slightly less RPG, slightly more action maybe than Zelda. Wow plus uh, Devil May Cry equals Darksiders. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say that's a bad uh, comparison. Like I'm definitely sensing the... Oh dude we nearly died. I'm definitely sensing why you're saying wow. But it's kind of cool so far. I'm, I'm having a good time. And again, I think this is free for the next week or so. How long was I gone? In Earth years? About a century. <laughs> long <laughs> enough for the last of the mouth breathers to die off. <laughs> then, the third kingdom is lost. Is it though? Are, the, are these the last of the mouth breathers here? Yeah. Dude, I think the fact that Illidan does the voice acting for this alone makes it worth playing. Pretty damn cool. Yeah. I give that a 8, eight, eight out of 10 maybe. Decent landing. Look cool and all, but you could have added a bit more flash by cracking the ground beneath the fall. Subtle. I almost didn't hear you coming. Where the hell are you? Vogrum. The council finally took me seriously. If so, you're surely not empty-handed. For this shall be the briefest of introductions. Oh, he's gonna buy the souls for us. <laughs> okay, Vogrum. Basically, Kalfazad. There were a few young ones. Oh, spectacular. Oh my god, dude, that's... wow. You seek the power behind the one called Destroyer. You will find the answers and the font of his power there. Okay. Oh, such haste to die. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? Feed my hunger. And I'll feed your curiosity. Click 500 souls for the demon Vulgrim. Okay. What? What? Is it? Is it open world now? Oh damn! Really? Demon trinket that reveals the location of all nearby chests on the map. Press O to access local and world map. Okay, so things just got a little bigger. That must be the world. I can't really scroll around. Control and shift. Oh, this is the world map. Oh shit, that's pretty damn cool. And I guess we're going over there last. Okay, chest, chest, chest. I guess let's go. I, I don't know, like he's, he sort of just said go. I guess I must go. Yeah, um, I gotta say the characters do look super Warcraft. I'm not gonna complain about that. And like, again, I think that this came out at around the same time as World of Warcraft was gaining popularity. I'm not sure. Like maybe someone can do a quick Google search and see when it initially came out. But um, 
they, they could have, and they've got the Illidan voice actor in there, so they could have wanted to get a bit of inspiration from Warcraft for this, because again, people were into that back then. It was making waves, you know? It was making waves. They might have been wild fanboys. Oh, shit, another one of these guys? Oh, I can, I can pick up cars and throw them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shit. Oh god. Let me, let me just do my thing, okay? Sorry, I'm trying to figure the controls out, man. Oh god! I, I, I definitely haven't figured the controls out. Come, come, come. Can I pick this up? No. I don't know if that really does damage, but I'm gonna keep trying. I'll know if I kill him faster or slower than last time. Let's try this. God, I, I still can't use the ability again. Like, when does my ability recharge? Oh my god, dude! That actually just hit me and took away basically all of my life, the whole bar, plus half the second bar. This guy's insane. Yeah, so the game is, it's spy to play, but it's currently free on, on the Epic. So if you are interested in this, you can just pick it up for free right now. I'm dead. Restarted the last waypoint. Damn, dude, that's pretty tough. At least I didn't lose my souls. Okay. Yeah, Hopsinka, good to see you, man. These games are very underrated. Cool. Oh, cool, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. So my wrath is under my health bar, and every block under my health bar there means one activation. So that's one activation for a heal or a ability. Cool, thank you. I think I just need to be quicker with my dodges on this guy, so I think I can do it. So no greedy, no greedy attacks, we just do this, and then we, when he does the telegraph big attack, which is, is it this one? No. That's one. We don't, we make sure not to get in the, in the way. Yeah, this is not so bad. Now I'm showing you how to do it. Duckle. Good to see you, man. So the little the little delay after the the dodge, it kind of it kind of gets to me. It's a little bit annoying, like that I can't dodge and attack immediately. But it's a it's a very minor thing. And my bet is that you can probably invest points in your in your attributes and stuff and get like a a proper dodge attack or something. That's my guess. Like it's a it's a minor complaint. I'm pretty sure that it's easily bypassed by, by spending the ability points or something. I'm getting greedy. About three attacks this is the max, I think. I could have gone for four there, I guess. So like this is not it's not super easy. It's not Dark Souls level hard, but um, why is he so tanky? Because it's like a, it's a mini boss, I think. I'm playing on normal difficulty, so like right in the middle. Uh, but it's a mini boss, and it's probably going to give me quite a lot of souls. Or at least maybe he didn't actually give me shit. Or did he give me about 20? I'm not sure. Maybe the chest will give me something. You don't remember him being so tanky? I might be, I might be doing something wrong. I don't, I don't know. Is there a heavy attack? Ah, you only played the original version, not the remaster. So, uh, out of curiosity, is the remaster looking a lot better than you remember the original looking? Because I get that to me, like, is the, is the remaster good, basically? I love that you can destroy basically everything. I mean, you can't destroy this. Obviously, this is... Oh, shit, you can! I was going to say, it's good craftsmanship, but uh, I like that you can toss cars around and... Uh, Break, break all the, the other stuff like you saw there, the boots and all that crap. It's nice, the destructible terrain is very nice. 
And even for a game of, of this age, can I swim? I wonder. For a game of this age, it's actually something that's, like, it wasn't very common, you know? Textures are much sharper. Nice. Dude. Shit. That's scary, man. Actually disgusting. Actually disgusting, man. I'm also gonna guess no swimming. I don't know why, but, you know, something tells me we're not gonna be swimming. I can? Oh, maybe I just couldn't get here while swimming. Okay, let's... Oh, shit, of course, because I can't go back like this now. Here we go. Oh, can we go down? Left control to descend space and left alt to dash. Okay, control. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm about to rate the underwater aspect of the game. Just give me one second and I'll tell you how I feel about it. Artifact Soldier. These ancient insignias were given to the legions of hell as trophies for the carnage of the end days. Turn to Valgrim. He'll reward you. Feels okay. Underwater feels okay. Uh, until I get stuck next to a pillar. Right. Yeah, you know, swimming with heavy armor on, I'm basically a damn demigod here, okay? So, the laws of physics and the real world ideologies and ideas of heavy armor, they don't apply. I can be as nimble as a damn mongoose while we're in massive plate. Because I'm one of the four horsemen. Dark Side 2 is better than this one. I wanted to start on the War Mastered version of the of the first one, the remaster of the first one, because the first one's obviously where it all starts. Uh, so, even if the gameplay and stuff's better in the second one, uh, I, I thought it might be better to at least start here because I knew nothing about Darksiders. So I think the third Darksiders, you play as that woman, and that was a little controversial to a lot of people. Uh, and, and as far as I heard, while it was interesting, it didn't really have that much different going for it. And the story was, again, as far as I heard, pretty forgettable. But, like, I can't, I can't say for sure because I didn't play it myself. Like, it came out and it kind of just fizzled. Oh, sick. Yes, let's go. Come, buddy. Let's dance. Oh, blocking. Left alt while stationary blocking. Come in, attacks. I had no idea I could do that. Oh, why did they make this guy look so daunting? I thought it was like a mini boss or something. <laughs> yeah, man. Can I? Oh, can I? Please tell me I can knock down the tree. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, listen, zombies. I'm trying to knock down a damn tree. Can you get out of here? Okay, fire hydrant. Yes. 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 Basically, fully destructible, dude. That's a win. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Caps lock one. Oh, I still don't have my caps lock ability. It must be really strong if it takes me so long to charge it. Oh shit! Another one of these guys? Oh, I have my ability now. I have my ability. I wonder if it's gonna do any damage to this guy. I hope it did some damage. Block his attack, so I'm not gonna bother trying. <laughs> trees are people. I think these trees are, are done. They're done. I don't think they want to live in this world anymore, man. I think I'm doing them favors. I don't. I, I don't want to assume I know what's going on in the mind of a tree, but you know. Um... Oh my God! Look at him stalking menacingly. What is he doing? Yes! Free attacks! Oh shit! God, the heckin' debate of the century, man. Did he just kill himself? I mean... Okay. 
I ain't about to complain about that. I think he just killed himself. We have enough souls to feed Vulgrim's hunger. Oh, yeah. Now, maybe he'll feed our curiosity. Hold on. They did release a new Darksiders game recently. Uh, it's called Darksiders Genesis. Yeah, it's like a hack and slash top down Diablo style game. That's kind of cool. Oh, dude, the cars. The cars actually have souls in them. What does that even mean? Does that mean there could be something alive in here? Or are they trying to say that, that vehicles, that my car standing out in the driveway right now has a soul? Oh, that's hell. Oh my God, wait. Dude, I'm figuring shit out here. This is awesome. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I kill another bird? Am I gonna get health from something? See, no health there. No health there, but where's that damn crow? <laughs> cars have soul. Your guys have soul, Walrus. Okay, man. Listen. I'm not about to tell you a car doesn't have a soul. I don't think I have the heart for that. No, the, the birds are gone. I can't heal further. Let's speak to Vulgrim, see what he gives us. These ancient gates have a mind of their own. But with this, you may reach an understanding. Beyond the gate, seek out Samael's prison. Once, Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say, a threat. You will find, he is no friend to the Destroyer. Seek me out when you've gathered more souls. I will make it worth your while. You know what? So, oh god, yes, hold on. Birds. I don't know why I'm excited about the damn bird. What is that up there? Earth caller. Mastery, masterfully carved horn. The call awakens ancient gates. Press middle mouse to activate the horn when equipped. Some creatures can be knocked back by earth caller's different blasts. Bomb. Press I. Map in gear. Select the desired and press 1, 2, 3 to equip the game. game. That's on 1. Okay, that's on middle mouse now. So, I was going to say, you know, some of the lore and some of the, um, some of the, like, the references and the, like, the, the, the names that are popping up and stuff here also just throw me straight back at Supernatural. I don't know if you guys watched Supernatural. I watched a bit of Supernatural. I can throw mailboxes, Walrus. Heckin' hooray. Can I throw something at that guy up there? What is that? I don't know, man. Some of these names just sound like they're straight from... The story could be straight from Supernatural. Like, it could share something with that. That gives health. That actually gives health. We're definitely gonna kill some birds. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the entire avian community, but this has to happen. What is this spinning in the air here? Dude, I swear. Something... Something super funky is going on here. There's something spinning in the air here, and there's like... This is probably for later. It's probably late game stuff. Let's ignore it. Let's go. You watch like the first four seasons. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't blame you for not watching the rest. Because, uh, you know, there are, what, 18 of them or something ridiculous? Toot toot! Honk! Oh! It's one of these guys! The horn call of my ancestors awakened at last from the dreamless sleep. Then we are free. Not quite. None are free while the destroyer still breathes. The destroyer, yes. To his service we are bound. Though enemies we remain. So his enemies we call friend. Sure. To be fair, supernatural is based on real demonic law. Must bring victory. Must bring freedom. Yeah, so supernatural is um, is based on a lot of the same stuff. I can't wait to find out what's behind it. Really? What's in here? 
Oh, what? Are we not following that guy? Oh shit, he's just peacing out. Yeah, like Supernatural's law, you'll you'll see it in a lot of games you play, a lot of movies you watch. It's the same, like, that kind of stuff. The whole heaven and hell thing. But I, again, like, Supernatural did get very samey, man. There are 15 seasons, you stopped after season 8. Yeah, I did hear that they were ending it on 15, right? That's the last one, huh? Aww. I, I think that's for the best. Honestly, I think they had a good run. Like, I think they said 15 is the last one. Oh shit, here we go. Ooh, Good Omens was really fun. Rado, yeah. Dude, I can definitely recommend it. Uh, Good Omens was an awesome series. It, like, poked fun at the whole heaven and hell and world ending thing. And it was like, it's like, it's half comedy. Ah, it's actually, it's mostly comedy. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's mostly comedy. And, like, really, uh, David Tennant, who, who plays, uh, what's his name, Crow Crowley in it? Such a, such, such a good actor. Like, it was so, so good to watch. Like, definitely watch Good Omens. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I would recommend it. Absolutely. Okay, Casey uh, Destructive Power and Gear. Why? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Can I pick the tape? Oh, wait. You said you want to pick up these guys? Oh, there's how we heal. Awesome. gonna blow up now yeah that's him blowing up yeah f uh, Hopsinka I'm I'm almost certain 15 is the final season of Supernatural yep David's always good he made me actually consider watching uh, Doctor Who I, I heard he was one of the doctors. Can I just can I break it? No. Oh, slick, dude. I'm so glad I know how to heal now. Cool. I I think uh, where I saw about the supernatural thing was on the supernatural Twitter. I saw I follow Felicia Day on Twitter and she retweeted the supernatural's Twitter account to say posting a video of Jared Padlecki, who was the Sam, I think, and then I can't remember the Dean actor's name, and then Misha, is Misha Collins? Misha, the guy who plays Castiel. The three of them were in a video saying it's it's gonna end. Damn, so this is pretty cool. Okay, this is pretty cool. We're going up that side. See if I can play at least until the next boss. That would that would be like kind of more exciting. So how many souls do we get out of that? Is it just healing or is it Yeah, it's just healing. I wanna try the horn on these mobs. But like legit, I think Supernatural was kind of fun. But it's the kind of thing that you watch, you know, you sort of watch on and off and across, a, in, in my opinion, you should watch it across a longer period of time because uh, it's, it's, it is very samey and like if you watch it all in one go, I feel like you might just OD, you know? It might just be a bit much. Even though like a lot of the stuff is filler content and like it's, it's quite different. They always have their little like 
Uh, every season has its baddie or its, its main story arc, and then they have the fillers and stuff in between. Even though they have that, it still ends up, in my opinion, um, feeling a bit much after a while. Move money, green is only heal. Yellow is only wrath. Oh, I see yellow, you're right. Oh, and how do I... Okay, maybe certain enemies give more of certain stuff, because, like, these, these two blue guys that I killed, they seem to give wrath. And, um... If I'm being honest with you, the last time I, I saw them coming around, I think I got a lot more from them. I can go across here now, but I don't know if I want to. This looks like a boss area. Oh, I, I would never rewatch it. No, same. Oh, is this the boss? Do you know what's imprisoned here? There are things even you should fear, horsemen. Oh. Once you were strong, but now you are weak and you are alone. The destroyer knows of your coming. Even now, he moves his legions against you. Then I'll make this quick. Oh shit. Okay. Boss time. I will take your head. Phantom General. <laughs> I don't want to focus, dude. Honestly, the focus has really not been working out. Thank you. Thank you for the fury, I guess. Is he just letting me fight these guys? Oh! Oh my god! Yes! That kind of worked! Dude, that wrecked them! I'm feeling pretty good about that. Oh shit, never mind. You know what's kind of cool is that I, I sort of staggered this guy. Okay, let's let's play a little bit more careful now. Can I toot him? Ah! <laughs> cool, toot works. Oh my god, what are you doing, man? That was it? Oh shit, is the big bad coming out now? Dude, the finishes in this are actually really nice. Yeah, that was a really cliche feeling encounter. And you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. They gotta do cliche stuff in games like this because it's what feels natural. Just one hideous blood puking gargoyle. <laughs> the plumbing must be stopped up. Or? There we go. Showing me how to do the puzzles. The whole you used to be strong, but now you're weak thing. Yeah. Oh shit. I don't know if I have the health for this. If there's in fact a boss coming out here. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Come on! Vomit some blood for me. Let's get this summoning ritual going. It's time for the real boss now. War. Are you here to play executioner? Oh, they God. should have sent all four of you. I have no interest in killing you, Samael. Ah, the destroyer is beyond your reach, beyond mine. Has prison made you a coward?
Chill. Perhaps there is a way, but you will need to get inside the destroyer's spire. The tower is guarded by four of his chosen. Bring me their hearts and ask me no questions. My reasons for helping you are my own. Where can I find these guardians? First, seek the Twilight Cathedral, where the Bat Queen Tiamat has gone to roost. The whole of her domain is a blistered inferno. By land, you will never reach it. Find the high ground with this. And bring me her still beating heart. Cool. But I like that they give you one and they didn't give you all four. Once again, it might have been a little overwhelming. Do we have wings? Oh, cool. Shadow flight. Supernatural wings enable Ward temporarily glide after a double jump, hold space to activate shadow flight and glide. Uh, glide inside shadow currents to soar high into the sky. I was hoping they'd give us an opportunity to test this immediately. I think they are. It's really slow, but it's kind of cool. Vulgrim location has been added to the Chronicle. Sanaya has returned you in one piece. He must like you. <laughs> yeah. The blue thing in the cyclone, exactly. On your journey, you may come into possession of certain items that are of particular interest to me. Artifacts of the Fallen Legion. If you discover any Legion artifacts, bring them to me. I will make it worth your while. Okay, let's check what the abilities and stuff look like. So, shift Take and control. Demon Edge. Take After time. Rising Upcut Slash... Uh, oh, a Rising Upcut Slash that will take both war and the enemy up into the air. Do we, does that mean we have that? No, we don't. Okay. Weapon master boosts damage inflicted by weapons attack. Okay. Straightforward. Generate wrath naturally over time. That's good. Rage. Restore some of war's wrath. What? Oh, okay. You, you use, oh, what do you use to restore it then? I wonder. Interesting. Scythe. That's a new weapon. Harvester. Blade guys are stone skin. Immolation. Affliction. Shit, man, there's some cool stuff here. It's a little, like, the, the, the UI is definitely a little dated, as you can, as you can see here. Um, it's a little, it's a little weird, but I think one should go for passives first. That's my, my, get, yeah, as you're saying. Press R. Nice. Old Vulcan's got something new for you. Oh, I just gave him the, oh, shit. Yeah, now I can afford weapon. This Let is the one. Let me know if I can help you. As you are powerful. Yeah, I gave him the, the item that I picked up. Cool. Weapon rounds must be slotted into the weapon first. Oh. Cool, man. So there's actually proper customization. So my weapon is... Oh. Okay. When you hear Legion, you always have to think out of Fallout New Vegas. You know, I'm sad to say that I've not played Fallout New Vegas. Even though it is probably one of the better Fallout games. I mean, unfortunately, I've not even finished Fallout 4 yet, you know. Damn, Sean is going to sit there forever waiting for me. I, I feel really bad about it, to be honest. Cool, so we're doing more damage now. That's kind of sick. For Darksiders, we just jumped into the Warmastered edition. And if I'm being honest, it seems like a lot of fun. It really does. It seems pretty awesome. And I, if I had a lot more time, I'd love to play through the game. Because the story seems like it could be interesting. I, it's like I mentioned while we were playing, it's a little cliche. Uh, there's there's going to be a lot of stuff that you're going to be like, oh, of course... 
Oh, of course this is happening. Oh, of course that guy's there. Oh yeah, they know that guy from that game or that show or whatever. There's going to be a lot of stuff that you that you recognize because it's the whole heaven versus hell thing, the humans in between. But honestly, for an old game, and it really is a pretty old game. So, um, let me let me just make hundred percent sure about the release date. So it came out twenty ten. It's like ten years ago. Oh my god, almost to the day. On the 5th of January 2010, so two days from now, it'll be the 10-year anniversary for Darksiders. Now, the remaster came out 2016, if I'm not mistaken, but this is an old game, and a lot of it seemed really good. Like, the voice acting was awesome, the facial animations were great, uh, the game looked good again because it was remastered. Felt fun to play, so, I mean, if I'm being real with you guys, I'd say this is most definitely worthy of a grand adventure. Now... I just need to figure out quickly which one I need to click. That's not the one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. So I enjoyed I enjoyed Darksiders. And uh, yeah, it's it's cool.